Well, all right, all right, all right, and welcome back to another exciting episode of the Planet Gen X podcast, and may the happy fourth, may 4th. <laughs> be with you. Yes, may the happy. fourth be with you. Happy May fourth, everybody. Uh, we wanted to throw something out there, and of course, we didn't practice it or anything, but that's all good. Oh no, we like living by the seat of our pants. So right. yeah, uh, today is May the fourth, y'all. Happy Yay. Star Wars Day. Yep. Um, you know, this <clears throat> really this day has no special meaning for me. I don't like sit down and watch a bunch of Star Wars stuff usually. You know who else it doesn't have a whole lot of meaning for? Go ahead. Lucas Arts and Lucasfilm. Ah. Uh, they never run deals on this day, right? They never released yeah. anything on this day. Yeah. Well, except thankfully. for maybe they probably did like a, a special version or something like that. Right. Yeah. 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 Possibly. But anyway, before we get into all that stuff, man, let's uh, ask you guys to remember to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. You know, you can leave us a comment. We love comments. We'd like to know what, what you guys like seeing, what you guys like hearing, talking about, whatever. Um, and listen, hitting the subscribe button is free. It doesn't cost you anything, and it just helps us out. So please, even if you don't you know, want to watch us every day, just hit the subscribe button for us. It really, really helps us. Thank Easiest you. thing you can do. Yep, it really is. And doesn't cost a thing. Well, all right then. Yeah, big day. May the 4th has nothing to do. That date has nothing to do with Star Wars other than right. it just sounds like, you know, it sounds nice. May the 4th be with you. Well, you know? there has been some marketing that kind of has jumped on the bandwagon. We can talk about some of it today, <laughs> such as... Uh, a few sales. I think Steam may be doing a sale. I haven't checked there. Yeah, I know Epic is. Cause, we do uh, know Epic is. Yeah, I got their free game of the week, and I was looking through there and saw they had a lot of Star Wars titles on sale. Some of them you uh, get for quite cheap. Is also a little bit on um, Prime. The, yeah. Uh, well, it's uh, Prime. The games are on good old games. Right. They're free through Prime. I like good old games a lot. Yeah. They have a lot of good stuff, and when they throw it for UB out, it's it's almost always a banger. Yes, no doubt about that. Well, so much Star Wars over the years, you know. Um, but the thing I'm looking forward to is what might be coming out in the future. we got a lot of stuff on the horizon. We've got a lot of, you know, a few things coming out this year. <clears throat> for example, uh today we have tales of the empire coming out so that remains i don't know anything about that is that an animated Good is it day. live action no you Good don't day. know okay i don't know yeah i don't maybe it's some kind of uh, web deal or something like that anyway i guess Did we'll no find out on this episode by the way <laughs> right yeah as usual uh star wars the acolyte tv series which we've talked about previously comes out june 4th so uh not far away we still got about a month to go on that one well soon. a month from this exact day as a matter of fact you know i think i would like a, a poster of the the lightsaber the ad they have for it like definitely not in my room like a bedroom or a living room yeah it might be kind of comical in a kitchen but I could definitely see it like in a shed or a garage. It's a nice poster. Many people liked it. Yeah, for sure. I agree. Uh, let's see. We got the uh, Skeleton Crew TV series. Now, I know that's live action. I'm looking forward to that for sure. There's no date on it. It just says 2024. So it's going to be after the Acolyte after June. So we can assume that it's going to probably be middle of the summer or late in the year. Right. Yeah. Then we've got Andor Season 2 which uh, is 2025, but here. maybe a little 2024 at the end of 2024, possibly. We would expect it in 2025, even if they announce like late 2024, we expect to push back, right? Yeah, I think it'll be 2025. Yeah. I think uh, it's, from what we gathered, just what they announced early in the year, which was next to nothing, I just listed the things that are coming out this year, and uh, I don't think we'll see anything else. So uh, Ahsoka season two, y'all know that's been announced. So it is in development as we speak. And they're not getting a three, right? It's going to be two in a movie. I don't know yet. I know that the Andor's two and out. Yeah. Um, 
and I know, of course, I'm I'm getting to it next. The uh, the Mandalorian, John Favreau's The Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Yes, which is supposed to slated to come out May twenty second, twenty twenty six. That's quite a ways off. But if it'll I recall be correctly, overall they're doing kind of a shuffle with the IP right now, right? Trying to make room for the Alkalite and these new things, and but also creating space for. Uh, I thought they were doing something else with the Mandalorian, right? I I know there's uh, while well, we're getting down the list here. I see season four of the Mandalorian, season four, the Book of Boba Fett, season two, status unknown. That's what it says. Yeah, I think that may be an old list. I don't know. I I, I think they had taken those kind of down a peg, and they were wanting to do the movie <laughs> and let Filoni do whatever with it and move into Ahsoka. And, uh, yeah, I don't know about the rest of the IP. But well, obviously got... the Alkali is supposed to be starting, and uh, there were a couple of other things, right? You got Taka Watiti's Star Wars movie, which doesn't have a name. James Mangold's Dawn of the Jedi movie in development. Uh, Dave Filoni's Mandoverse New Republic movie. That's the one gotcha. you're talking about. Yeah. In development. Charmaine Obeyed. Shinoy's new Jedi Order movie. I don't know who the hell she is. Oh wait, they may that may have been the one the one woman one. I remember when they announced all these. It was like one helmed by woman. That was that was her. Okay. Uh Star Wars Rogue Squadron movie. Status unknown. So that's like uh God, how I wonder how this I thought this was new. Let me see. It's gotta be fairly new. It was talking about uh May the fourth. I mean, as far as I know, that never, that movie's never been made. But like I said, I think some of this may be, may have been shuffled around well, as it of was, recent. Yeah, well, it was originally posted January 1st, but it's been updated April 5th. So right. it's not too old. So it's been updated within the time that anything would have been released. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe there was a lazy update because, like I said, I think some of this happened this year, right? Like in the first quarter and whatnot. Yeah, uh, they kind of figured out when they were going to do, uh, uh, well, the pre-release. Obviously, we we haven't talked about that really. The pre-release of uh, what is it? Uh, Outlaws. Yes, thank you, Outlaws. Yeah, I was trying to finish some of the stuff on this list real quick. Okay. Um Because you got like a Lando movie. This is stuff I haven't even heard about. Lando movie status unknown. And that was uh, supposed to be a Glover. In that one, right? Yeah, well, I would have thought so. And then there was there was the Rangers of the New Republic TV series. That's presumed canceled. Um, an untitled J.D. Dillard, Matt Owens movie, presumed uh, canceled. The Ryan, jo- the Ryan Johnson's uh, Star Wars trilogy canceled. Kevin Free, Fiege's Star Wars movie canceled. Uh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Yeah, <laughs> DB, David... Ben Benoit and DB Weiss's Star Wars movie canceled. So any of those that you had your heart set on, the might <laughs> those are probably not going to happen there on the bottom of the list. But we're getting a ton of good stuff, so I, you know, I'm really happy about it. And the other thing, like you said, Outlaws, that's going to be a huge release. And uh, gosh, I wish it was coming out Maybe. tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know a lot of people willing to pay for the pre-order, right? Well. That's the problem. There's one pre-order uh, pack they have. It's like 129 bucks or something like that. And have then they one have 109. Yeah, and then they have the basic, you know, 79.95 or whatever one. And you get basically jack shit in that one. You get the right. game. Um, the and other again, ones. This is uh, to to harp on. Just like hang something else on that is we've talked about how we don't own our games anymore, right? Yeah, uh, and this will be another one of those. It's going to be a digital download. You may, you may get some additional content, but it's all digital, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know how I feel about it because having the discs isn't any better sometimes because they get destroyed or bit rot or something like that. Um, I do like Epics or or uh, Steams way of doing things yeah i mean you you have a a a little icon that's your box so i mean that's something um that i can look at you know 
and and in this day and age that, that I'm fine with that. But yeah, I don't know, man. The day I mean the days of getting a box with a disc in it are gone. I completely agree with that, but I also kind of feel like uh the repository for the the games themselves, the the communities that support them are still as much cut off as they have been in the past from like the creators and distributors of these games. The way I see it is like, okay, so you have Steam and Epic and others get good old games and stuff like that. If somebody invests in your ecosystem, because some of them have exclusives, but most of them sell the same shit. Right. Um, so I'd go in for Epic because I'm an Epic guy. Epic needs to stay around in some form or fashion to keep that library alive. So they can right. sell, they can do whatever, but whoever takes on Epic, if they buy them or something like that, they have to be willing to accept a lawful agreement that they have to keep all libraries of every single person's game alive in perpetuity. No, they don't have to, but that that's what we would want, right? The, well, no, the I'm, this is my it. fantasy, and I'm saying if they're buying yeah. it, they have to, yes, they would have to. Yeah. The reality, the however. Ideal. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean. It, that tomorrow it could all go defunct, and you know, we would lose everything that we have on Epic. Right, I mean, like, they've been really good, and they, you know, they're, they seem to be doing well. They've got Unreal, which is, you know, enough to keep them alive, I think, anyway, but. Uh, it's unlikely they're going anywhere. It's unlikely that Steam is going anywhere, but something could happen. But And even if they don't go anywhere, there still should be something that says, as long as we exist, we have to maintain these libraries. Something needs to be like that. I mean, if we're going to move into this age of not getting anything, it's it's going to have to come down to that eventually. It needs to be what it used to be, which is it was released to basically a public... Uh, bulletin board system, right? Like uh, a bunch of heads that wanted to get into the code, add add ons and whatnot, and basically maintained it, modded it, set up communities and whatnot. Right? Yeah. I can see one thing being good is that they just post every single fucking ISO on a massive server and you have to pay for some kind of whether they go, you know, the, uh, the crypto route where as far as like, uh, blockchain to make it coming up with some way to to beat the pirates or whatever like you have to buy a license and then you once you have that license i mean anybody can download from this repository you can get the isos it doesn't matter but you cannot use it it won't install or won't you know let you use it or whatever until you have the license yeah that might be one way to handle it but you're gonna have to have something that helps keep piracy down it's hard to do yeah it's hard to keep the pirates at bay right that's right. And the pirates at Pirate Bay. Yeah. That's right. That's right. So um I'm really honestly, despite the price of outlaws, it won't matter. I'll end up getting the cheap one. Maybe. I might buy I might go in for the big one. I've got no there's no hurry, at least. I could wait till literally the, the what they give me like a three day pre pre release. I re, wait till that the day before that comes out and buy it. The thing is, with the uh, the pre-order and pre-release and stuff like that, they, they are kind of prioritizing uh, a certain class of gamer, someone who would stream the game and create more revenue for them, right? That's um, all. It's kind of unfortunate, but at the same time, you would kind of expect a similar behavior from a smaller studio, right, to maybe attach themselves to a, a more well-known to get their name out there. Absolutely. So maybe that's fair game. Yeah. Absolutely, they would do that. Um, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say on it. <laughs> well, I don't either. But I know there's a lot of great Star Wars coming up, guys. May the 4th, it's a great day. So celebrate your Star Wars. Watch all kinds of different stuff. Mm -hmm. there, there's great new stuff out there. Watch a lot of the old stuff. I'm sure there'll be a lot of great sales out. We Like we've already told you, that maybe there'll be some other stuff besides games. But uh, yeah, other than that, that's all we have for today, guys. In and out quick. Yeah. Enjoy your Saturday, guys. Enjoy your Star Wars day, guys. And until we see you in a couple days with the Discovery, Star Trek Discovery recap, episode six. Till then, guys. This weekend slash beginning of the week. Yep.
Remember, as always, be excellent to each other. Brian and I will see you on the flip side. Yeah. Peace out. Thanks, everybody.